tell you it's going to be hard, I can tell you it's going to be difficult, I can tell you it's going to be a challenge, but as I said, the job today is just power through it. Sit around waiting for the right people. It's not about knowing the right people, it's about becoming the right person. Alright, first part of my leg workout, I felt like warm up with some stretches and body weight squats, things like that. We'll start right away with uh, leg extensions. We're gonna start right away, 10 sets of leg extensions. First five sets are pretty pretty light, maybe around 20 reps. The next five sets are the working sets where we do about 10 to 12 reps. Get those quads loose enough. We're gonna be using them a lot today. I like to sit like this between sets just to get used to the range of motion for uh, squats which is coming up pretty soon. And almost you think this is overkill for the beginning of legs, but it's actually a great one. I get boosted up those quads a little bit. And I got this, uh, this style of training from, from Chris Geffen, some of you may know him. And he likes to go way more volume than this. So, compared to, compared to him, this is pretty fun to do. Now it's time to start the game. Squats, back squats. And we're gonna be doing full squats. And I'll explain the difference between full squats and regular squats. But um, the rep scheme is gonna go like this. Five sets. First set, 10 reps. Second set, five reps. Third set, three reps. Fourth set, two. Fifth set, one. All right, we're gonna be increasing the weight each time. Rest about 90 seconds, a minute and a half in between sets, that's it. 90 seconds, and our legs are pretty exhausted from the warm up, but that's what separates us. Separates us from the weak to the strong. From the people that always fail to the consistent champions. We push past that pain. We pre exhaust our muscles, and we learn how to survive. Okay? Squats. but front box squats. Quads on quads, on quads, okay? Box squats. Five sets, first set, we're gonna start off pretty heavy. Maybe five reps. Second set, five reps, and then we'll cut it in the last three sets and just try to burn them out for each individual set, all right? Go.
busy couple of dumb. We're not dumb. Black one. We bought them hack squats. Four sets. Five sets. Five sets. Five sets. Ha! So uh, that's a wrap for the uh, leg workout. We went really quad heavy on this exercise, uh, on this workout. If you didn't notice, we started off by exhausting the muscles first. We're doing 10, uh, 10 sets on leg extensions. Then we went over to squats, warmed up, went to heavy, went to heavy squats. Then over to full uh, front squat, box squats. Still hitting those front quads the entire time. Still targeting that muscle. Remember, priority training, we're targeting front quads a lot today. And then, you know, we finished it up with our last exercises, which were hack squats with the barbell. Some of you have never seen that before, but um, it's actually a really good effective way to build up your overall strength and target those front quads as well. Now I know you may be thinking that this, this workout was a little bit overkill, but like I said, you always got to challenge your body, challenge yourself more, push yourself to the limit. Some of you don't know, but I actually tore my rectus femoris um, back in May when I was shooting one of those track videos I should, I'll post it later on, but a track video for like an inspirational video. I went out there, I did legs the entire day, then I did track sprints, and in the middle of the sprint, pop! It blew. Doctor said I was going to be out for eight months. Shouldn't work out. Shouldn't do ex leg exercises. Anything like that. You know, it was tough coming back, but um, that was back in pretty much May, and slowly getting back to it. But the reason I'm slowly getting back to it is because I never stopped. I didn't let my body shut down. I kept on moving. I started working around muscles, uh, different exercises that can help adjust the problems that I was having. And that's the thing you have to work on too. See, if you want to be successful in life, you have to understand that. There will be moments where you're gonna be put to the test to see how strong your resolve is. If your strongest, if your resolve is really strong, if your dedication is that strong, if your drive, if your belief, if your goal, your desire is truly strong, there is nothing that can stop you. You're always gonna be motivated, okay? You're gonna be motivated when it's raining outside to still go out there and run five miles because your resolve is strong. You're gonna be motivated to get to the gym and still train even if you're injured because your resolve is strong. You're gonna be motivated to keep working hard even when some people tell you that you cannot do it because your resolve is strong. How strong is your resolve? Is it strong enough to keep pushing through the pain? Or are you gonna shut down every time a little problem comes your way? Don't shut down, all right? That's the, that's the end of the workout there too. And um, just one more piece piece of motivation, motivation tips for you guys. And I was talking to someone the other day, they were asked, actually, I was back in Vegas at Olympia, and there were many people that came up to me and asked me questions. I'm so proud, I'm so glad that people came up. I appreciate it, thank you for all the, the support, you know. Um, but I got a lot of questions, people asking me, how do you become a sponsor after the bodybuilder.com? Well, how do you become a sponsor? And my response is always the same. I ask them, why do you want to become sponsored? Why do you want to become an athlete? Why do you want to be with this team? And most of the times they ask me, they just want to feel a part of the team. They really don't know why. They see from the outside, they think it's great. And it is fun, it's a lot of fun, you know. But if your mission in the fitness industry is to motivate people, why are you not doing that now? Why do you wait to be a part of a team in order for that to happen. If your mission in the fitness industry is to change people's lives through fitness, why are you not doing that now while you have the opportunity? You cannot sit around waiting for the right people. It's not about knowing the right people, it's about becoming the right person. 
every day you are faced with a chance to become the right person. You are in control of your life. You're in control of your destiny. You're the change. You make all the changes, not people out there. We can't wait for people to come out and hand you stuff. You've got to stay motivated and dedicated and drive every single day to become the best person you can be. And then you'll start to see you'll draw people around you. Okay? That's the end of my speech. Kids MVP. Like, share, subscribe. We'll get more videos out there for you.